Now, one of the most common questions that we get when we are talking about the Paco Jet is, well, what else can I do besides ice cream? So Jeff is going to show you what else you can do besides ice cream, which is many things, but what exactly can you do and how do you do it? Yeah, uh, absolutely. So bridging out from Paco Tizing, um, we wanted to introduce what we call the coupe set. Um, and with these particular, uh, uh, excuse me, attachments, they essentially expand the versatility of the, of the system. Um, so with a couple of these items, you're able to get into fresh food processing. Mm -hmm. So you have a whipping disc as well as a knife cutter, um, mm. which is extremely sharp. So what this pack is designed for is fresh food. Mm -hmm. So pocketizing, we freeze product into the beakers and then use the pocketizing blade. But with our coupe set, now we're using fresh food processing a la minute. Yeah. Essentially. So it is, of course, a great way to get more value out of your Paco jet because then you're replacing a food processor, you're replacing a blender, which is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, the more versatility, um, the more use that you can get out of the Paco jet, obviously, is a great ROI and um, keeps your footprint smaller. You know, yeah. you don't have everything kind of cluttering the shelves and, um, and the countertops, if you will. Yeah. And I know that you prepped a little demo so people can see this machine in action doing the fresh cutting. What did you prep, Jeff? Um, so we're going to do a couple things. Um, one is going to be a gremolata. So it's a bread-based herb kind of topping. Mm -hmm. um, and the beauty of this is because of the pocketizing process, moving from top to bottom, you're able to essentially get like almost a knife cut, a mm -hmm. delicate shaving of that food product from the top all the way to the bottom without um, essentially expending a lot of heat or uh, over oxidizing that food and being able to get a very, very consistent meal on the other side. Okay, yeah, let's see it in yeah, action. Absolutely. So take our beaker, take our ingredients. So what we have is just a little fresh bread, some herbs. Um, we're going to add some nuts in there just for fun. Okay. Give it a little crunch. Um, and then a little bit of citrus just to, to kind of, you know, brighten it up a little bit. Cool. So um, no, no rhyme or reason to, uh, to how you actually, you know, get everything in there. We just get it in. Mm -hmm. So we kind of chunked up the bread, throw a few pieces in there, a little bit of walnuts. Um, we have just some parsley as well as I think we got, we snuck some stage in there just for fun. Yeah, we'll take a, a little bit of lemon. Just get that zest in there to give it a little bit of brightness. Now, when you're using the coupe set, can you still set that, you know, portion control? Or do you have to do the whole beaker? So for the for the fresh food, it's it is the entire beaker. Okay. Um, I mean, being able to just go through it half, we, we did consider that, mm -hmm. um, but the thought was, well, why would you just need to go through half? Right. You know, mm -hmm. like, <laughs> so so uh, the way it's designed is to move through uh, the, the entire beaker product. Mm -hmm. So from here, it just goes in this blade. Again, it's very sharp. This kit comes with a, uh, a knife holder for this particular attachment because it has been sharpened to, uh, to a very high sharpness rate. I'm yeah. going to go down just a bit and then it just clicks in just like the regular pocketizing. That is smart. I would be the first person to <laughs> cut myself on that. Just be like, <laughs> oops. So once that's installed, come around, lock it in place. We'll wake it up. It went to sleep. Um, we select cutting. Mm -hmm. And then from here, same thing as pocketizing, you have uh, repetition ability. Mm -hmm. So we can move through this product as many times as we want. Well, up to 10, but mm -hmm. you know. Um, we're gonna keep this particular one. Uh, I like three, I like how fine it gets mm -hmm. um, at that particular rate. So after that, let's hit start. Okay, and I noticed that on that screen, you did also have the option to add the overpressure to it. What would be the benefit of doing that? So uh, if you have something that, and we'll demo later, is a, uh, a mousse. Mm -hmm. So uh, something that is a fresh food that we want to be maybe lighter in texture, a little bit more fluffy, mm -hmm. um, we can select it to be with that overrun air pressure. Mm -hmm. So right now, that blade has really gone through all the way to the bottom of the product. Mm -hmm. It's coming back up. It's still cutting. It'll go through this process three times and then take it out and we're done. Okay. All right, so we've gone through the process. Um, it signified that we are ready to go. We can 
Move the beaker. Pull it out. And now we have our beautifully fully incorporated granulata. Ooh, and that is a very fine dice, but of course, as Jeff mentioned, you can get it finer, coarser, whatever you like. Absolutely. Yep. More repetitions, finer it gets. All right, we're going to come back and then we're going to show you how to make a salmon mousse in the machine. So we made this delicious looking gremolata, but of course we need something to go with it. So what else are we going to make today, Jeff? Oh, so we're going to do a traditional um, smoked salmon mousse, but we're going to do it in the Paco Jet. Um, essentially, all ingredients in and then we walk away. Okay, yeah, neat. It's a, it's a nice little uh, advantageous uh, way to use the coop set. Cool. So, um, so essentially, we're able to replicate the same gremolata steps in terms mm -hmm. of take, take our ingredients. So we have a little bit of smoked salmon. We're going to add that in. Um, essentially, equal parts cream cheese. Got a little bit of cream. I mean, at this point, you could add herbs and some other mm -hmm. you know, mix-ins of that nature, um, but we're going to keep it pretty simple here. Um, just a little bit of lemon. Because we don't want to waste our uh, our zested lemon for mm -hmm. the gremolata. A little bit of lemon in there. And then from that, goes into the protective outer beaker. Again, safety first. We'll grab this. Mm -hmm. Just go a little bit under. Lock it in place. Nope, from behind. Click it in, go to our cutting, same steps. So we want to do multiple, multiple revolutions on this one because we want it super right, fine, super exactly. creamy and moussey. Um, so for this, um, I might just go for broke and say, let's, let's do seven. Or what did I hit? Yeah, seven. Definitely want the air overrun mm -hmm. because we want it moussey. Yep. Um, and then from there, just hit start. Okay. Let it run. And what I love about this is that you're seeing Jeff do all this in real time. It literally took him, you know, like 30 seconds to toss it all together, toss it into the Paco Jet. But what's going to come out is going to look like you slave for hours making this salmon mousse, right? Right. And oh, that's absolutely. always the point. You want to wow, you want to dazzle, you want people to have an amazing dining experience at with as little physical effort as possible. So we're going to wait until this is done, come back and taste it. All right, now we're ready. Let's check out this salmon mousse. Ooh. Ooh. Look how beautiful that looks. Here's a spoon. I plan ahead right now. Grab the spoon ahead of time. That's so, beautiful. So we've got a very creamy consistency here. Mm -hmm. So that's fresh food, essentially pureed down mm -hmm. in it, to its finest. So for this dish, yeah, we put a little of that gremolata down. Get a little scoop. There you go. That looks like salmon ice cream, but in the Almost. best of ways. <laughs> yeah, that is beautiful. I'm going to try a little bit of this from the canister. And while I'm doing this, I know one of the things that we talked about earlier, we wanted to talk a little bit about um, this new feature that we have on the Paco Jeff 4, which is the ability to save recipes, which again, huge time saver. You know, you can just go to your kitchen staff and be like, hey, you know, like serve up one load of this instead of being like, what's the setting for that again? They could just, right. they could just pull it up. So how do we do that on the Paco Jet? So um, we make it super simple with that feature, which is, which is an added benefit because when you're trying to, you know, obviously mm. train yourself, Absolutely. train staff, um, anything that can keep this uh, this process uniform is going to be super helpful. Mm -hmm. um, so for this process, um, and it goes the same with, with any of the functions, um, you can essentially use our uh, save icon up in the corner um, to do it before or after. Mm -hmm. So if we like the result of this, hey, seven was, that was the magic number for this particular process. Mm -hmm. We can just go hit that save button, name it, so we with can save that, notes. save the favorites, and then for here, we have salmon cutting. We could name it, you know, salmon mousse or, or whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, and then once that's saved, go to your favorites, and there it is.
The ability to save recipes is going to be a huge game changer for saving time in your kitchen. Of course, we also have the whipping disc. We want to show you a brand new recipe for that as well. For our last demo of the day, we wanted to use the new Paco Jeff 4 whipping disc to make an infused whipped cream. So we're making is a dairy-free vegan whipped cream using a couple of ingredients. We have here our Fabri strawberry deli paste. This is a great way to add bright, intense strawberry flavors to anything. No dairy in here at all. This right here, this I'm very excited about. We don't carry this here, so this is not a plug. This is just me loving a product. This is the new, uh, this is called the Violife Heavy Whipping Cream. This is a vegan product, and I'm really excited to use more of this in the kitchen because it's as close to dairy heavy cream as I've ever seen. So I'm excited about it. Again, not pay to say it, I just love it. And over here we have some rum. This is very special rum because this actually, um, if you watch any of our Spins Out 2.0 promo videos, so this is the rum that Dave Arnold infused with banana flavor. It is amazing. So what are we making with all these ingredients, Jeff? Oh, so a vegan whipped cream, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's going to be rum, strawberry, banana. It's going to be delicious. Yeah. All right, well, what most, do we do? Mostly rum. <laughs> mostly. <laughs> so um, process is simple. Mm -hmm. So all we need is a beaker, our whipping blade, or whipping attachment, I should say. Um, and the beauty of this system is for the whipped cream. Um, it's able to stabilize that cream where it'll hold mm -hmm. its texture um, after essentially two passes. That's kind of the, oh, cool. uh, that's the, the arithmetic, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and the beauty of it is it's got these slots and holes that aerate the cream mm -hmm. as well as incorporate any kind of in inclusions, whether it's, you know, alcohol or fruit paste or any anything like that. Um, this could be a savory mousse, mm -hmm. right? Um, but uh, it works from top to bottom. It, it aerates the, uh, the cream base, and it actually kind of beats it down to create that additional stabilization. Obviously, you could add some additional products to like really extend the life of it, mm -hmm. um, but this will give you, you know, a minimum 24 hours of stable hold. Yeah, so that's really cool. I know that we do have videos around stabilizing, so you can add gelatin. Um, if you're vegan, we have, I believe it was a mixture of Versa Whip and Xanthan. I could be wrong on it, but we have recipes Sounds on right. the block for all that. So, yep. mm -hmm. so whipping disc goes into the splash guard, goes onto the machine. So the Paco Jet has it. At this point, we're going to assemble our recipe. So what we have is just the beaker, um, this vegan cream. We have about a cup of that. Oh, that's thick stuff for vegan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. That goes in. Um, we're going to take this infused or clarified rum, I should say, with the paste. I'm just going to thin it out a little bit. And for this recipe, or for, for any of the uh, whipped cream recipes or mousse mm -hmm. recipes, you can do about a third of additive or okay. flavoring um, for the base of the cream. So as, a, as kind of a, an arithmetic. So just add that right in. Um, we're going to sweeten it a bit mm -hmm. with some powdered sugar. We'll do about two thirds of that. And then from there, yeah, it just goes straight onto the beaker holder. We've already got the blade assigned to it. Bring it up. Oh, from behind. <laughs> Pull it in. We go to our whipping. Um, and for this recipe, it's going to be two revolutions, two okay. repeat. What so happens if you go above two? Is it just creamier? Like, what do you get the more you whip it? So what, uh, this particular item, a recipe, um, you do need to be mindful of how many repetitions you mm -hmm. go because it does, to your point, continues to expand. Yeah. So it could potentially, you know, in fully... Uh, fill that beaker, okay. um, where at that point, then the machine um, will alert you that, you know, it has increased volume to that point. Mm -hmm. um, so, so with this, two is kind of the magic number, mm -hmm. um, and we have recipes and kind of guidelines on, on certain, um, certain applications and recipes. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So, so that being said, just hit start. All right. And that's interesting because normally you're like, oh, I can fill it up to the max fill line, but not when you're whipping cream. Correct, <laughs> correct, correct. That is one of the things we need to be a little bit mindful of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now, same process, blades going down through the product. So mm -hmm. right now it's, it's whipping, aerating, and beating to stabilize it. Um, obviously mixing in um, the uh, V2 
beautiful additives. And it's going to go through this process twice. Cool. All right. So now we're going to take the beaker off, bring it down, pop it off. Oh, that looks beautiful. Let's scoop that out. <laughs> right, I got a clean spoon here. Go Thank for you. it. I'll, I'll let you be the uh, okay. Be the first. It goes very well with this salmon mousse in color, at least. I don't know about in flavor, but definitely in color. Look at this. It is fluffy. So what is, um, you know, mm. the trick is. Wow. So 24 hours, same texture. Although this one, so this Violife Heavy Cream, because it's vegan, it already has like tons and tons of gums in here in order to give it that like heavy cream texture. So we're probably just gonna leave this one in the fridge and see how long it holds. Yeah. I, I would expect it to be a lot longer than 24 hours. That's a good exercise, yeah, absolutely. Oh, it is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna like, I'm lactose intolerant, but I can eat this because it's dairy free. <laughs> sweet, yes, sweet dairy free whipped cream. This is amazing. I would say this is probably the best whipped cream I've ever had. Mm, it's so good. So uh, you could do a boozy tart mm -hmm. or float this on top of a, uh, you know, fruit martini. Yeah. I mean, you can taste the rum in here, but you can get yeah. that banana from the infusion. You can get tons of strawberry flavor. It's, it's amazing. It's so good. All right. So we've shown you these amazing recipes. You're like, where do I get these? You know, the ice cream stuff, that's all up on our blog, but we're also going to link to the Paco Jet website where there's tons of recipes, usage, guidelines, how-tos, troubleshooting. That's all readily available. A lot of work has gone into the machine. A lot of work has gone into the recipes. And those are all resources that you're going to have at your disposal. Links in the description below. And before we wrap up, I want to spend some time talking about accessories because some of you might already have a Paco Jet 2 and now you're like, I need a 4. But what can I bring over? What can I not bring over? What do I need to make that upgrade? Jeff, can you talk a little bit about, you know, accessories, compatibility, and, you know, what's available? What do they need? Right. Yeah. So the Pocket Jet 4 is going to come with everything you need to operate it. Mm -hmm. So the machine, um, you're going to get the beaker canister holder. You're going to get a beaker um, with a lid and then the pocketizing blade as well as the splash guard. So that's what you need to actually function the unit. Mm -hmm. um, so anything outside of that um, can be added. So the coupe set can be added mm -hmm. for more versatility. Obviously your limiting factor is gonna be these beakers. Okay. So you know the volume of beakers that you have mm -hmm. is going to be paramount to how many options you have and what your volume is going to be. Um, and then with this system, you can bring beakers over um, with all previous models. So yeah. all the beakers can be used in the new Paco Jet 4. Um, one thing to note, this new unit comes with synthetic. So mm -hmm. as you can see, these are translucent synthetic, synthetic beakers um, with a special protective outer beaker that mm -hmm. makes it affixed to the machine. If you do have stainless steel beakers, so um, of previous models. We still carry these mm -hmm. um, as well, but if you do have these, all that is required is the upgraded stainless steel beaker holder. Yeah, and you're going to know, so you cannot, this one right here, this is the standard two mm -hmm. protective outer beaker, this one's not going to work. So you need this special one, and you'll know that it's the one that's meant for the four because it's gray, which Correct. I really like. <laughs> I like because I'm like, these all look the same to me. So I like that this is gray. They do have a little handy graphic up here that says, you know, synthetic yes, metal no, and synthetic and no, special. metal yes. But I know that not everyone's going to look at that. So just look for the color. It's gray. And this fits perfectly in order to make the upgrade. Um, I know that there's also been an upgraded cleaning system that goes with, with that as well. Can you talk a little bit about these new cleaning tabs, how it works, and, you know, what do they do? Yeah, so um, basically it's our patented formula to essentially clean and keep uh, all Paco jets, not just the four, but you know all models hygienic and safe. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things that we wanted to do with, well, what we have with previous models is um, we had inserts that would essentially clean the underside and the base and the shaft and that, and that kind of thing. But we wanted to um, create a, an easy process where you can take the tabs, essentially put it into a beaker of warm water, run the machine, rinse it out, and then you're done. So it makes mm -hmm. it super super clean, obviously, and effective, but also quick. Yeah. 
So I really like these, and these are the new accessories. And I just, I think we have one more. What's this? We got one more little package that came <laughs> with our box. What so are these? Those are those are tool couplings, is what mm -hmm. we call them. Um, and what this coupling actually does is allows for your Paco jets or previous models to be upgraded with the interlocking blade system that we have showcased in the Paco Jet 4, mm -hmm. and as well the 2 Plus. Okay. So it, it is the new uh, way to essentially be able to lock that blade in place different than the original just by magnet pull. Yeah. So if you have any questions, of course, let us know in the comments below. I do want to, of course, mention you can buy all of these items except for the uh, probably the older Paco Jet 2 accessories are all available on our website, modernistpantry.com, link in the description below as always. And of course, I mentioned at the beginning, I said there's a giveaway. The giveaway today will be a $100 gift certificate to Modernist Pantry, which you can use to spend on your Paco Jet. Uh, in order to enter to win, just leave in the comments below any questions, feedback. What do you think about the new Paco Jet for? Let Jeff know so that he knows what people think about it. You know, he's looking for your feedback as well. We hope that you've really enjoyed today's demonstration and walkthrough of the Paco Jet. Huge thanks to Jeff for flying up and being with us here in the test kitchen, Anytime. doing all this demo work and uh, really showing people what the Paco Jet 4 is capable of. We're really excited to share this with you. Hopefully you're excited to try it out as well. And from here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie. I'm Bye. Jeff. <laughs>